Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, I wanna show you how you can update your firmware on the Sony a7 IV. This is going to come as great news to a lot of a7 IV users right now because there are a lot of bugs that are fixed or are addressed in this new firmware update, at least according to Sony. So let's go over to Sony's website. I'll be linking the website to Sony where you can do the firmware update in the description below so you don't have to go and Google it. There are two versions, one for Mac and one for Windows. If you want to update your firmware on the A7 IV with a Mac, on a Mac computer, it says that you have to download another file first. You have to download the Sony camera driver. So I have a Windows computer right here. I don't wanna go through that trouble of downloading that driver. So I'm just going to update using my Windows computer. There are a few things that Sony says that have been improved in this camera. First is that it improves the accuracy of the eye autofocus feature. I haven't personally experienced this, but there has been a lot of people who have been complaining about this feature not working properly, especially for pho photography. And the second issue is that for some reason, the a7 IV was not able to take pictures with one of Sony's pancake lenses, the 28 to 60, which is weird, but glad they're addressing this issue. The third one, it says that it improves the operational stability of the camera. It doesn't say exactly what it improves. So I hope this addresses some of the overheating issues that a lot of a7 IV users had when they first got the Sony a7 IV. I made a video about this issue a couple of months ago. So if you wanted to check that out, I'll be link linking it right here. But in essence, what I was experiencing was straight out of the box, the Sony a7 IV was giving me an overheating warning even after 20 minutes of using just the menus and then after a little bit longer, it would just shut down on me. So what I did was just to turn that auto temp setting to high and I've been using the a7 IV like normal since then. So no overheating issues and no shutdowns and no overheating warnings as well. So I'll test it. So stay till the end of the video to find out whether this firmware update is still gives me those whole overheating issues that I'd experienced on the first firmware. This is going to update your firmware to version 1.01. .01. If you are already on version 1.01, .01, then you can close this video. You don't need this video. So this is only for those who have the version 1.00. But before we continue, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again. So after you've checked that you are indeed in version 1.00, you go to this website, download the exact file here from Sony's website. It'll take a little bit of time, wait for that to download. Sony recommends that you use the original USB cable supplied to you when you purchase this camera. So I have it right here, as you can see, I haven't used it at all. So this will be the first time I use it. Sony recommends that you use a fully charged battery in order to do this update successfully. Once you've downloaded the updater from Sony, you need to first open the updater and do not connect your camera to the computer yet. You have to connect your computer to the camera after you open the software updater. So once you do that, then you'll be prompt to connect your camera to the computer with the Sony cable. Go to setup and then go to USB connection and then verify that the connection is set to mass storage, MSC. So now we're gonna connect the camera to the computer. It will say USB mass storage. You can let that go. And now we can continue on the computer. We'll go click on next, verify the version. Here we can see that the current version is 1.00 and we're updating to 1.01. .01. We'll click next. So now it'll automatically reset the camera. And now it's just waiting. And it says it takes about seven to eight minutes for this to happen, for this entire process to occur. So we'll wait and see how long this takes. And as you can see, the camera just turned off. It just shut off, but that light's still on. So I think it's just doing its update right now. Once the update is complete, the camera will restart. You'll be able to finish to follow the prompts on the updater. And then when you turn on your camera again, it'll say that the camera is recovering data. This is just normal, so don't worry or freak out. So once that's done, go back again to check the firmware version on your camera and it should now say version 1.01. .01. So once this camera has been updated, go to setup and then go all the way down to setup option, version, and yes, version 1.01. .01. So this camera has been officially updated. What I'm going to do now is go to the power setting option and go to auto power off temp. And I'm going to switch that back to standard to see if I'll still be getting some of those overheating issues on this camera. So I'll play around with the menus for a bit. 
and see if I get an overheating warning. So it took my camera about 15 minutes to do the firmware update. Uh, for some people, it's been taking about eight minutes. So if you're in the 10 minute mark or 12, don't fret. Maybe yours is your setup, your computer and camera it might just be taking a little longer. So yeah, and I've been playing with the menus on the Sony a7 IV now for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I still don't see a overheating warning come up, but the camera does feel a little warmer, but that just could be because that I just finished doing the firmware update not too long ago. I'll be leaving this temperature setting to standard and I'll let you know in a future video how this works out for me. That's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you were experiencing overheating issues or autofocus issues on your a 7 IV prior to the update. I would love to know how many of you have experienced it. I have heard a lot about overheating, not so much about the autofocus issue. So I would love to hear about it in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. I hope this helped you out in updating your Sony a7 IV. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, it really helps. And until next time.